The pattern shift is going to flop the cold and heat from east to west by the weekend, but for now, it has been a chilly reminder of what largely evaded the east for much of the winter. Almost feel like they would have rather gotten the cold out of the way months ago. So let's go to the April U.S. climate report. Very much a below average month of temperature as a country, with the distribution of temperature and precipitation here. For the three blue and red temperature maps, it's max temperature top right, minimum nightly temperature bottom left with the average top left, and precipitation is in the bottom right. Link is below. Let's go next to stellar explosions, and we're starting only 16 light years away at one of the closest stars to us, and they just noticed a super flare from it. The Red Dwarf was studied by that same amazing combination group of the Japanese Astronomical Society and solar physicists from Colorado, just up the road here, and they bring it in at about 20 times stronger than the 1859 Carrington event. Such a strong flare from our sun would send us back to the pre-electricity world as every transformer would blow and most wires would melt. The star is located at approximately our distance from the galactic center, but it's in Leo, nearly straight north of us in the galactic disk. Up next, you wouldn't think we were discussing stellar explosions at first here, Japan again at the Ryugu asteroid. Thing is, it's got sunburn, red cooking from the sun, which they are thinking means it must have gone close to the sun at some point. Thing is, nothing about its orbit suggests that's ever been possible. So what's the other way you get a sunburnt asteroid? The sun unleashes a monster, and remember, in the instability or accretion-based micronova scenarios, there are asteroids produced. What if Ryugu is from the sun? Now imagine a micronova that fails, something that doesn't blow out, just sort of produces dust and haze in the upper stellar atmosphere and around it. That's really what it looks like on Betelgeuse, and it's though a major cloud was ready to be ejected, but just sort of stuck around and dissipated. Many of us were hoping for a brighter, more exciting show in the sky. Might end up disappointed. Last but not least, so what's so special about this region of space? Well, let's go ahead and look in radio waves. Hmm, that's interesting. And now...